Stadium. Some fans have been waiting in line for hours just to get shirts and other items for her Eras tour. Her three day stint there begins tomorrow and local and state police have announced precautions they're taking. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie joins us live in Foxborough amidst all the excitement. Alex. Well, Gillette staff and police say they are ready for this, and that is all starting with the merch truck here today behind me. That truck opened earlier today. They also say that construction at Gillette Stadium shouldn't impact the fan experience this weekend, but they did stress for anyone with Friday tickets, especially to get here early. So we would rather have people down here and relaxed as opposed to in their cars and frustrated. So come early. Uh, particularly Friday is going to be a beautiful day, so make a day of it. Now, people are making a day out of it here today. Fans cheered when the doors to that merch truck opened at 10 on the dot. Taylor Swift's favorite number already in play with 13 lines for fans uh, for buying T-shirts, sweatshirts, and more. Uh, the fans we talked to were more than willing to wait their turn. Some people got here as early as 2.30 this morning, not sleeping, but instead playing music, making friendship bracelets, and just having fun. Jackie Prue is a lifelong fan who's gone to many Swift shows already but has tickets for tomorrow and Saturday. She says she's not concerned about rain in the forecast during that show. I was there for the original rain show for the Speak Now tour. I was on the floor and I got absolutely drenched and it was one of the best nights of my life. So <laughs> I am not worried at all. I know that she's she's going to go all out regardless of the weather. We saw that in Nashville. We've saw, we saw that during Speak Now. We're probably going to see that again Saturday. Now, police told us that they're not super concerned about fans of this show. They know that they're very polite people. They're also expecting 200,000 fans to attend. They're urging anyone that's driving to take 495 and 95 by Route 1. They say traffic stops will be in place. For now, reporting live in Foxborough, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.